In this video, we will learn about elasticity and its applications. So, elasticity allows us to analyze supply and demand with greater precision. It is a way to measure how much buyer and seller respond to changes in the market conditions. So, the price elasticity of demand. It is a measure of how much the quantity demanded of a good responds to a change in the price of that good. That is, elasticity will tell us that by what amount the quantity demanded for good is changing due to a particular amount of change in the price. So, when there is a particular amount of change in price, by what amount? But uh, by what amount the quantity demanded will change due to that change in the price. So when we talk about elasticity, the responsiveness is always measured in percentage terms. Specifically, the price elasticity of demand is the percentage change in quantity demanded due to a percentage change in price. So it is telling us that what percentage change will there be in the quantity demanded when there is a particular percentage change in the price of a particular commodity. The price elasticity and uh, its determinants. So there are various determinants that affect the elasticity of a commodity. Four of them or major four are availability of closed substitutes first is availability of closed substitute that whether there are alternatives to the goods that we are studying second is necessities versus luxury this is that whether the good under under consideration is a luxury or a necessity third is definition of the market that is what type of market we are studying and fourth is time horizon short run long run so demand tends to be more elastic when the larger number of closed substitutes are available. So if there are more substitutes of a good, the demand for that good is more elastic. So if the good have more alternatives, competitive alternatives available in the market, then the elasticity is more. Why? This is because if there is a small amount of change in price of the good under consideration. For example, there is an increase in price for the good under consideration. Then the consumer will quickly shift to other substitutes, other alternatives for that good. For example, petrol and diesel. So if petrol is getting costlier and there is this good alternative available to people that diesel is there. So they will switch to diesel. So if there are more substitutes available in the market for a good, elasticity of the good is higher. Second is that if the good is a luxury, if the good is luxury, then it demand its demand is more elastic. Third is the more narrowly defined the market, the more elastic is the demand. Fourth is the longer the time period, the more elastic is the demand. Why? Because like in short run, people do not have any choice of switching to other goods or their preferences don't change quickly due to many reasons. So in long run, in long term, they can find various alternatives to the good. And thus the elasticity is more in long term than in short term. Now computing the price elasticity of demand. The price elasticity of demand is computed as the percentage change in the quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in the price. Basically it is percentage change in quantity demanded per percentage change in price. This is price elasticity of demand. Now look at this example. If the price of an ice cream cone 
increases from dollar two to dollar two point two zero or two dollar twenty cents, and the amount you buy falls from ten to eight cones. So basically, the price is increasing, and demand quantity demanded is decreasing. Then your elasticity of demand would be calculated as the given formula: percentage change in the quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in the price. Now, how do we calculate percentage change in quantity demanded? To calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded, we subtract we subtract uh, the initial and final quantity demanded. That is, we will take difference of ten and eight and divided by the initial initial quantity. And then multiply that uh, number, that value, with hundred, as done in the example. Similarly, for percentage change in price, we will first take difference of the new price and old price, and then divided by divide the difference with the initial price, initial value of the price, and then multiply this value by hundred. So, in given example, we will get two as the elasticity, price elasticity of demand. now the midpoint method it is considered as a better way to calculate percentage changes and elasticities the midpoint formula is preferable when calculating the price elasticity of demand because it gives the same answer regardless of the direction of change in the direction of the price change so price elasticity of demand under this method is given by the difference of the two quantities divided by this average of the two uh, quantities and this whole thing divided by the difference of price which is then divided by the average of the prices as shown in the formula so if i'll take the same uh, example that we took earlier and solve it by the midpoint method then i'll get 2.32 as the answer the elasticity now the variety of demand curve basically we will now uh, separate the demand curve we will now categorize the demand curves on basis of elasticity so basically we have inelastic demand and elastic demand inelastic demand is when the quantity demanded does not respond strongly to price changes price elasticity of demand is less than 1 when the demand is inelastic the price elasticity of demand is less than 1 now in elastic demand the thing is that if price is changing by a higher amount the quantity demanded will change with lower amount so the response to change in price is less in in elastic demand on the other hand the elastic demand we have quantity demanded respond strongly to changes in the price and price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 so for in elastic demand we have less than one elasticity and for elastic demand we have more than one elasticity this example shows us computing the price elasticity so if the elasticity is more than 1 then the demand is price elastic or elastic demand now further we have the categories of perfectly inelastic perfectly elastic and unit elastic demand perfectly inelastic demand is when quantity demanded does not respond to price change there is no change in quantity demanded perfectly elastic quantity demanded Uh, quantity demanded is when the quantity demand is changes infinitely with any change in price no matter what small or big change is there in the price the quantity demanded will respond with higher amount unit elastic unit elastic quantity de- uh, quantity demanded changes by the same percentage as the price so the answer is 1 so basically percentage change in demand uh, percentage change in quantity demanded and percentage change in price are the same in unit elastic case because the price elasticity of demand measures how much quantity demanded respond to the price it is closely related to the slope of demand curve but it is not the same thing as the slope of the demand curve so slope and elasticity of a demand curve are two different things but they are related concepts they are related to each other
let's see in this this is an example of perfectly inelastic demand we can see as price is changing as price is changing from 4 to 5 the quantity demanded is still the same so there is no change in elastic demand now look at this first thing to remember is that there is an inverse relationship between slope and quantity demanded slope and quantity demanded i'm sorry slope and price elasticity there is an inverse relationship between slope and price elasticity now look at this in this the demand curve is totally a steeper line totally a straight vertical line so with maximum slope pos possible and the elasticity is the minimum possible that is zero so slope and elasticity are inversely related now in the unitary elastic or uh, sorry inelastic in the inelastic demand when elasticity is less than one so elasticity is less than one so the curve demand curve is comparatively flatter so here the elasticity is zero so slope is maximum now the elasticity elasticity sorry yeah now the elasticity is not zero but less than one okay the slope the demand curve becomes flatter now the elasticity is equal to one so the curve is more flat as compared to this one here elasticity is greater than one so again the curve is more flatter as compared to this one and when elasticity is equal to infinity the maximum possible the slope is minimum possible that is a horizontal flat line no slope so slope and elasticity are inversely related and this thing can help you in memorizing the curve for inelastic or infinitely elastic demand now let's see is there any relationship between total revenue and the price elasticity of demand now total revenue it is the amount paid by buyers and received by the sellers of a good and it is computed as the price of good times the quantity sold so tr or the total revenue is equal is the product of price and quantity of the good now look at this when price is dollar 4 consumer will demand 100 unit and spend dollar 4 on the good as shown in the diagram so the price is 12 of 4 and he is buying 100 unit the quantity demanded is 100 and the product is uh, 400 the revenue is 400 so with an inelastic demand curve an increase in price leads to decrease in quantity that is proportionately smaller thus total revenue increases okay so when the curve is inelastic demand is inelastic so the response of quantity demanded to price is less so when we increase price by some amount the decrease in the quantity demanded is less than the increase in the price so the quantity demanded don't respond much in this case because the demand is inelastic less response of quantity demanded towards the price so an increase in price leads to decrease in quantity that is the law of demand but this decrease in quantity is proportionately smaller than the increase in price. Thus, the total revenue will increase. Let's see in this uh, diagram. So, an increase in price from $1 to $3. Okay, the price increases from $1 to $3 as shown. We have $1 in this uh, first figure and in second the the price is dollar three so it leads to an increase in total revenue from dollar hundred to dollar two forty so basically the slope these demand curve has same slope okay so elasticity in this case is less why because slope is more so it is an elastic demand okay so when we have an elastic demand the total revenue is going up with the price there is direct relation with an elastic demand curve an increase in price leads to decrease in quantity demanded law of demand but this decrease in quantity demanded is proportionately larger 
why because price is responding more to change in uh, sorry the quantity demanded is responding more to change in price so the decrease in quantity demanded is proportionately larger than increase in price so the increases price is uh, compared to less as compared to decrease oh what i'm saying no sorry increase in price is uh, the proportionate increase in price is less than what the quantity demanded is, is changing uh, the the change in the quantity demanded thus the total revenue is going down so the increase in price is not that much big but the change in or the decrease in quantity demanded is large so total revenue of the seller is going down because quantity demanded is going down by more amount as shown in this this curve is comparatively flatter the slope is less this means that elasticity is more so when there there is an increase of uh, price from 4 to 5 dollar 4 to dollar 5 it leads to an decrease in total revenue okay so when the demand is elastic the price increase lead to decrease in total revenue 